One of the big things we've seen in property brokers, I guess it's because we specialize in it so much, is a real change in the lifestyle property market over the last sort of 15 years. Uh, lifestyle property used to very much be the domain of downsizing farmers who couldn't handle land anymore and they sort of want to come down and still have uh, a nice big area of land that they could work on rather than moving to town. Nowadays, more and more, and the vast majority of people moving to the lifestyle blocks are coming out of town. Really important if you are doing that, you do your research because there are a lot of differences if you're going to live on a lifestyle block than if you've grown up in an urban environment all your time. First bit of advice I'd use is make sure you're using a lifestyle specialist real estate agent. They've got the expertise around the stuff to really give you the advice you need. There's all sorts of different things around septic tanks, boundaries, restrictions, zoning, water, um, fencing that can make a big, big difference if you're going into it blind. If you don't know the questions to ask, make sure you write a wish list down and go through it with people so they can explain exactly the um, sort of property that you're getting involved in. There's a big difference between owning a thousand square meters and owning three or four hectares. So it's a great idea, it's an awesome place to live, it's an awesome lifestyle, but do do your diligence before you get involved.